right so i welcome you to another beautiful segment of our mini importation class and uh, i believe so much that everybody has been fully downloaded alipay account so in order to make payments for chinese suppliers so now as you can see on the screen here i have my alipay account on uh, app installed on my phone and i believe every other person have been installed so let's click on it now when you click on your alipay account and uh, you just open it fresh this is how the alipay account is, is going to to look like right so now what you need to do now is that to activate your alipay account before you can use it to make payment for your chinese uh supplier now this uh alipay account is each is usually uh it's usually designed for a particular period of three months though after the three months you are eligible to reactivate it but within the sort of uh, within the period of three months there is also a limit of transaction you can make with this type of uh, application uh, so and i believe with this if you follow the step i'm taking in this video you will be able to activate the account and uh, you'll be able to use this uh, alipay to make payment to your supplier so whichever way if you have any further question and i'm going to put my phone number on the screen so you can contact me for any further clarification as far as if this is concerned now to activate your alipay account after you have been successfully registered and installed the app on your phone you need to make use of an application and an app called top pass so the top pass here you can see from the screen of my phone right here but in some cases if you don't see the top pass if you don't see the top pass on your or, or just like the way you, you can see it on my screen here you can come to the whole apps so if you click on all apps all the application inside this uh, alipay account is going to pump so then from there you can select top pass another way around by which you can get top pass is that you can make use of search bar just type top pass so from there you select the top pass application so now as far as this is concerned you can see it playing on my screen so i'm going to click on top pass So we need to wait for all right so now from this point here you can see that the account is very much fresh there is no uh any cash uh, any chinese cash on this account so this simply means that this is how your home is going to look like also now before you can make use of top pass you need to verify your information before you can move to top up money and finally you use it to pay on uh, any Chinese website maybe you you purchase whatever from Chinese website you can use this app to make the payment even in offline you can still use this app to make payment as far as the business is between you and the Chinese person now for you to activate this top pass all you have to do is to click on use now and mind you when you are trying to do this top you need to make sure that you have your means of identification available one of the ID uh, card you can use for to activate this is going to be it can be international passport a valid one that is not expire two you can make use of your national id card that is if you don't have international passport you can make use of national id card you need to make sure that the id card is very much available and you don't do it at night because you are going to snap the picture of that particular means of identification card so you need to do it in the daylight break right so now from this point here you can see nationality region so i'm going to click on it then i will select my country so whichever country you are coming from this is applicable to you also so i'm from nigeria and i have to scroll down and then uh, look for nigeria Looking for Nigerian. Okay, so you can see this is my country here. I'm going to select it Nigerian. Now, at this point here, this is where you uh, type in the relevant information about your passport. Now, 
the instruction here is uppercase only for passport number number of pa uh, name on passport uppercase only then the date of birth should be correct with what you have on your means of identification if anything go against the instruction or if anything was not go in line with the instruction as far as this is concerned they will reject your application this means that your name of uh, the name on your identification number and the number you provide must be relevant so now in this case i'm going to type in the national id number so i have uh, eight three Right, 